Hello. Rose, uh, it seemed I, like you were still a little bit in shock when you were in the cage, kind of letting it sink in. I know it hasn't been that long, but has it sunk in a little bit? And, and, and what is the emotion for you at this moment? Uh, just gratitude. Um, yeah, it's been a rough week <laughs> um, up until, you know, the fight started. It was just uh, seemed like everything was, you know, trying to distract me and and be thrown in my face and uh just you know but everything i just kept listening to my coaches and um just trusting them trusting myself and you know i got the job done we talk about being a rough week was it just like the way she was acting towards you all week and the way things are playing or were there other things happening as well yeah that was part of it you know um but just you know get my flight delayed and you know just little things here and there um all the sirens outside, <laughs> not being able to sleep very well, you know, just not playing my walkout song, just everything that, you know, you're thinking like, this is not my moment, you know, but, uh, you know, I just didn't pay attention to that, you know, didn't let it stop me. We didn't know until just recently they played the wrong walkout song for you. So yeah. what's that like? I mean, all these things are going wrong or is there the one last minute of self-doubt? Like what else? Yeah. I mean, I, I've been, you know, the one thing that I, uh, that kept me calm was like I've been in situations like this where I felt like you know things wasn't running smooth and um, I've learned from those so you know uh, I just kept telling myself to stay calm and you know just don't pay attention to these outside things that I can't control all I can control is myself and um, just keep having a, a positive attitude. Once you got in there, the performance was incredible. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I know you said that you thought you'd get the finish and all that, but I mean, did you ever see going in there and, and, and dominating her on the feet the way you did? Um, I had a feeling that I was going to knock her out in the third round. Uh, so for it to happen in the first is great, you know, especially it's kind of a weird, uh, weird coincidence, but it happened at three minutes and three seconds, which is our gym name. And our area code, uh, you know, Denver, which, you know, I can't wait to get back to. Uh, so just, I don't know, man. Just, it's amazing. It, it last thing for me, Rose, I'm yeah. sure you'll want to enjoy the moment. Uh, but we always ask the champions, you know, what do they want next? So, I mean, do you think about what comes after this? Is Does a rematch with her entice you to, to make sure that, you know, everybody knows it wasn't a fluke? Do you see other top contenders? What, what do you think does come next? Uh, just taking some time off and just one day at a time. You know, uh, this is definitely a huge kind of change of pace or I guess a, a change, a new chapter in my life. So just kind of had to assess things when talk with my coaches and stuff like that. Um, you know, as far as a rematch, I think Joanna herself might need some time off as well. A question here, Joanna. Congratulations on the belt. First Thank and you. Foremost. <laughs> After the fight, you said to Joe Rogan, <clears throat> this belt doesn't mean anything. Be a good person. Yeah. So now that you're a champion and you can reach a greater audience, yeah. how do you want to get that message through? Um, well, for one, I think that martial art, uh, mixed martial arts has been, uh, you know, there's just been a lot of trash talking and, and things like that. And, and just people that I, I feel like, you know, aren't really being true to themselves or being honest, you know, um, and... I don't know, maybe that's just, you know, what they feel they need to do and for to to entertain things, but I'm just kind of sick of it. I'm sick of all the hate and, um, you know, anger and stuff like that going into, you know, I feel like we have a duty as, you know, fighters to try and be a better example, you know. Martial arts is about honor and respect, you know. Um, you know, it, it takes a lot of courage to get in that cage and, you know, no matter who you are. So, uh, yeah, I just, I just want to try and set an example in that way and then you know just the rest of the world too i think that there's a lot of um you know negativity out there everywhere you look is just just negative all the time and i'm just just trying to just trying to be that positive light as much as possible you know i mean i'm not perfect either but uh maybe this will you know we'll, we'll figure out a way to make this world a better place and can you tell us how uh, pat berry's reaction was backstage and how is he feeling right now uh, <laughs> um, he's definitely probably feeling very similar to myself, just, uh, um, yeah, I don't know, it's hard to describe. <laughs> kind of numb to everything, actually. Quick question for you. Um, the punch that knocked Joanna down, uh, yeah. you had a shifting left, you, you 
jucked out to the side a little bit on the left foot. Was that something you'd been looking for that whole fight or was it just in the moment? Um, I saw it in the moment in the fight. I actually thought it was going to be my right hand that was going to get her because um, that's just been landing in practice a lot. But, uh, you know, uh, we've been working that that uh, leading left hook a lot with, um, you know, Trevor Whitman has been elevating my boxing game like uh, exponentially. So, you know, that's been something that has been in the works for a long time. And, you know, maybe we'll see my right hand later on. <laughs> Over here. Rose. Yeah. Uh, it's been a hell of a week for you, obviously, from the press conference on. Fill in the blank right now. Rose is feeling what? Are you, uh, do you want to say screw you to the doubters out there? Do you feel relieved? Do you feel stoked? Like, Rose is blank right now. Rose is grateful. And Rose is content. Actually, what I said in the, uh, my mantra that I kept saying all week was uh, confidence, condition, composure, content. I'm a champion. And that's why I said in the fight, once I, I knocked her down once, uh, and then kind of just was like, my emotions were starting to get riled up a little bit, and I just did my mantra to calm me down and uh, and waited for the right opportunity. Hi, Rose. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, I wonder how much the experience you had of being in a title fight before helped you in, in this one. I mean, did you draw anything from the last experience? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, my, my first title fight, I kind of felt like similar, you know, walking to the cage where I couldn't see where I was going. There's just a lot of chaos going on around me, lots of distractions, lots of things to pull away my focus. And, you know, I even almost like tripped on the way to the stage. And it, it just, it got to me, you know. And this time I just, you know, I just... Uh, related back to that experience and was like, you know, I can just breathe and I can counter this by just staying calm and, and not worrying about it. And from your standpoint, you know, do you draw anything? You were quiet and, and Joanna talked, you know, Michael Bisping was talking, GSP <laughs> wasn't, Cody yeah. and, and TJ, you know, didn't do so much. Do you think that the three people that kind of just remained quiet and did in the background, do you take anything from that? And does that have any significance? Um, you know, I've said before leading up to this fight uh, that I feel like it's, you know, a time for a new era in this, you know, sport. Um, I think we have a great opportunity as fighters and athletes to, to be good role models, you know. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm by no means perfect, you know, but I think we could try. And um, yeah, it's just it's just hard, you know. Like I, I used to fight with hate and sometimes, you know, there's been a lot of aggression in my past um, growing up and stuff. Um, but that's just cause I'm, you know, I was hurt, you know, myself. And so uh, I learned that love is such a more sustainable energy to draw from than hate. Can you elaborate on that, Rose? Because I know we were talking before about the, you know, the volatility that you've experienced in your life. And here you are facing this un, undefeated, unbeatable, <laughs> perhaps, fighter. How did yeah. you use your past to basically overcome the yeah. Joanna challenge? I mean, I've had a lot of nightmares and dreams of just old, you know, memories haunting me and stuff. Um, and she was just kind of, you know, I, I don't take it personally against her, you know. I think it's just she was just a personified. Like, that's why I kept saying, like, it, it's just me that I'm fighting against, you know. All all the stuff that, all the negativity that I felt coming from her, it just it just reminded me of where I came from, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I wasn't going to let that shut me down, you know. And that's why, um, you know, she she's, she's a, you know, awesome fighter and stuff, but... Uh, I've just, I've dealt with a lot worse in my life. Yeah. How you doing, Rose? Hey. I uh, only have one quick question. Uh, can you tell us what Pat told you in your ear before you stepped into the octagon? Yeah, every time he tells me something, uh, like that moment, he always says something super, like, beautiful and poetic, but I just can never remember it because I'm <laughs> so in the moment. Oh. Yeah, my bad. You can ask him if he remember, but he, usually he don't remember either. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Oh, all you got to do is just be you. <laughs> yeah, that's easy. Thank you, that's Pat. a good line. <laughs> yeah. Rose, you were very open before the fight about your mental health difficulties, which is difficult for anyone to do, let alone someone who's in the public eye. Yeah. Why was it important for you to, to bring that out into the open? Was it for you doing yeah. that, or was it to, to help other people? Uh, or both? Um, I was, you know, I've, I've mentioned that it's, uh, I, it's a history of it in my family, and so that's something that I, I didn't have my dad in my life because of it. And, um, you know, he has schizophrenia, and, 
Yeah, it's just something that I, I've only had my mom and my brother in the States, you know, other than like a few distant relatives, but all my family's in Lithuania and, you know, it's just, it, it's just, a, it's been a hard life, you know, a hard road uh, coming up since I was little and um, it's just something that, you know, I guess I'm, I'm really grateful for this opportunity to, to kind of like overcome this uh, and, you know, I'm kind of grateful that Joanna's tried to poke at that because now I was able to look into it and read books on it and kind of study, really trying to understand what mental illness is. And I realized that we're all kind of, we're all pretty normal. We're all kind of the same. We all got our issues, but you know, it's something that we can get stronger at. It's, you know, just like your, your mind is just like your body, you know, it's a, a muscle that you can train and you can get better at. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys.